I have been part of the Bible journey uh, for the second season now. It's been quite a number of months. And um, first of all, I'd say this has been a personal blessing to me because it has uh, taken me back to the study of the Word as I come also to share with my viewers. Being part of uh, Bible journey has become a blessing to me, especially in the context of uh, the Great Commission. Uh, when God said, go into the whole world, yet I am in Kenya. But by God's own miracles, we find an access in which I can be able and we can be able by extension to be able to reach out the entire Africa and by extension the entire world. Then it becomes a blessing. Look at what media can do. Look at what uh, the ability and the blessing that is available that we did not know existed before. But then even much more satisfying is uh, the feedback and the response that uh, I'm getting from the viewers out there as I go out to the churches to minister, even on the streets sometimes. I've had uh, people, friends uh, stopping me and telling me that thank you for the program, it is a true blessing to me. Uh, I can't wait to see when we will have traveled all the way to the book of Revelation. But what is important is to know that our audience there, many people who are watching this program, will be able to walk through and understanding deeply the issues of salvation as intended by the scripture. And out of this program then, many, many can make decisions to love God and to serve Him and even be prepared for the soon coming because we are here because we are persuaded in our hearts that soon Christ is coming to take us home. He redeems my soul in safety Working with Women Engage was such a privilege. It was wonderful to work with Sister Debbie Maloba. Um, the first thing I really enjoyed is just meeting all these wonderful, exceptional women and um, learning so much from them. Uh, what our prayer is, is that Women Engage will be a real blessing to our listeners. We have been speaking about topics that maybe we don't always talk about frankly in our churches and um, we hope that it will encourage um, others in their church groups to also begin to talk about some of these topics that have a real impact on the lives of women and of men and we pray that this program is going to be a blessing and it will just be um, kind of like an opener. Two of the topics that really stood out for me um, is the first one is the topic that we did on the empty womb. I hadn't really put myself in that position of the, my sisters who may have to deal with um, the challenge of wanting to have children and not being able to have children and what that actually looks like. I, I thought that I had you know, thought about it but I don't think I really understood until um, I had um, the, pro the opportunity to do that program. Another program that I think really stood out for me is our topic on abuse and just thinking about the multiple facets of abuse and I can tell you that um, even though we did the program we, we just began to touch on just the tip of that iceberg and so I hope that that is one topic one area where we will continue to um, engage as families um, as church communities to see what we can do to deal with the abuse that happens in our churches.
the best way you will have taken your meal, whatever meal you want to take on your plate. And this is very now. So reducing the amount of carbohydrates, the place where I have put beans will have been any carbohydrates that you are taking. Chombo chak